Well, hello, everyone. It's Dr. Stan Harris, known as Dr. Breakthrough. And we've got one of our very special guest trainers. Now, think about this. This lady, her name, Dr. Uh, Tawanda Williams. We call her the Hope Coach. And uh, my friend, listen, she has been, as a matter of fact, she's got a book called The Book of Hope. She's, she was born without arms. Listen carefully. She was born without arms, and she proved everybody wrong. So I'm going to unmute her. Don't worry, Tawana. We've got you. And uh, <laughs> we just want to make sure that, you know, there was no crazy stuff before we, you know what I mean, get you taken care of. So, but anyway, but her and her husband, Toby, incredible couple. And again, here's a woman that was told she wouldn't live, I think, just a few weeks or whatever else. She's going to tell you the story. But listen, but she's been dubbed the Hope Coach. And also, she's been called unarmed, but dangerous. And you're going to find out why. So I'm telling you, my friend, this woman, when she speaks, she moves people to tears. When she speaks, she extracts every excuse you could ever want to have. When she speaks, she brings hope and inspiration and healing, my friend. And so I'm telling you, you're going to hear with great delight. Now, the first time I heard of her, Johnny Wimbury said, hey, doc, this woman's having this meeting and I can't make it. Can you speak for her? And I was like, well, okay, I think so. I said, well, tell me a little bit. He said, well, I'm, we're at a Les Brown event. We're all taking notes. And I look at this lady and she's taking notes faster with her feet than most of us were doing with our hands. I was like, wait, what? He said, yeah, man. He, I was like, oh, man, look, oh, yeah, tell her. I'm going to speak for her. I just want to get a chance to meet her. And when we met, it was incredible. And so it's been a, just an incredible, incredible journey. So folks, I want you to hear with great delight. And I said, it didn't even make sense. How can we have the whole community? and the Hope Token without having as one of our trainers, the Hope Coach herself. So I need y'all to unmute your line for one second. Well, let no, I see. Well, we, just in case we guys, no. Well, Tawana, I'm going to do it for them. Here's what they would normally do. Yay! Yay! Come on now. Come on. Come on. It's breakthrough All time. righty, God bless you there. Take Thank it away, you. Tawana Williams. Thank you so much, Dr. Stan. That was funny. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> greetings to all. Thank you guys for showing up on today. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tawana Williams, the Hope Coach, your messenger of hope, help, and inspiration. And yes, I was blessed to be born without arms and impaired use of my legs due to the drug thalidomide that was given to my mother during pregnancy. Then my mother told me there was nothing that I could not do. And I had a Grandma Rogers that did not play with me. And when I was four and a half years old, she looked me in the eyes and she said, T, you must not have needed arms cause God didn't give them to you. She said, nothing's missing. If you don't have it, then you don't need it. And those words continue to resonate throughout my soul. And yes, I've overcome some major adversities and challenges throughout my life. I was gang raped during a home invasion many years ago. I was raped by my stepfather. I was addicted to crack and cocaine for 10 long years. I've experienced abortion, motherhood, a stroke, and a mild heart attack. So I know that I'm here to help you overcome whatever adversities and challenges you may be facing in your life. And that's why I am unarmed, but dangerous. Come on now. An eagle without wings. That's Ooh. who I am, ladies and gentlemen. So, so who, who do you say you are? What are your dreams, your goals, hopes, and aspirations? And what is it that you want to do with your life right now that you have not done? Think about that. Think about that for a moment. Because there was a goal, a dream, and a passion that you started. And then COVID-19 hit. And it stopped you right in your tracks. I'm just saying, what did you do? Were you stuck like me? Because I'm just being honest. I was stuck for a moment. But it didn't take long. It didn't take me long. I'm just saying, because <laughs> I realize that this too shall pass and it's almost over, but we've got to hold on and faint not. So whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing, whatever God told you to do, I challenge you right now to go get it, go do it. Because I know that COVID-19, it caught all of us on the blind side. So now we got to learn to figure it out with no instructions or directions. 
I'm just saying that's what I've done all my life. Every time I turn around, people would tell me what I couldn't do. And the next time they told me I was doing what they said I could not do. Why? Because I believed that I could do it. I believed in myself. Like it, it wasn't easy for me. And I'm sure it's not easy for you either. But for me, it definitely was not easy. I didn't have arms. So I just kept moving. I just kept figuring it out, trial and error. I just kept going and going. And yes, there were many times that I fell down, but guess what? Every time I fell down, huh, I got up again and again and again until I mastered what I wanted in my life. And you can do that too. Yeah, you, I'm talking to you. You can do this. I don't care what somebody told you they can't do. You know, you can do this. It, it might seem hard in the beginning, but guess what? Keep it going. Keep moving. Don't stop. Don't quit. So my advice to you right now is that you got to learn to become laser focused and fight in spirit every day because we don't know if this is gonna be our last day. Look at the statistics, look at the television, look at what COVID-19 has done. So I'm telling you, this could be your last day. And we gotta overcome this negative, tough and weary mindset that has changed the game of life for all of us with COVID-19. And my husband Toby gives me good quotes. And here's one of his quotes. He says, if you're not willing to play in the game of life, then you might as well sit on a bench because the game of life was meant to be played, not watched. My God. So I'm telling you today, it's time to get off that bench and get your life back. It's time to move and figure it out for yourself. That's what I've done. That's what I've been doing all my life. Matter of fact, that's my middle name, to want to figure it out, Williams. <laughs> I'm just saying, all my <laughs> life, that's, that's what I had to do, Dr. Stan. I've always had to figure it out. So I'm telling you, hope is here today. Hope is here. They got the hope community, the hope tokens, and I am the hope coach. I'm just saying. And I'm super excited because hope is a feeling of an expectation and a desire for a certain thing to happen. What are you hoping to do? What has God told you you could do? But you sat over there in the corner and pouted about it instead of getting it done. Think about that. I'm challenging you today, ladies and gentlemen, to get your hope back. Get your dreams off the shelf. Get your life back. Get started and doing something that you've never done so that you can have something that you never had. I'm telling you, it's so powerful that you got to get this done. So whatever your dreams, goals, hopes, and aspirations are, go move on those. We're almost on the other side of this pandemic. And I know some of us are frustrated, angry, overwhelmed, and some of us are bitter, but guess what? You can't stay there. You can't stay in bitterness. You gotta move on what you know and what God has promised you. I know what God promised me. I know what he said I, that was possible for me. So I expect greatness. What do you expect on today? Think about that. What, what, what is your expectation for you? Think about that. I'm putting something on your mind. See, it ain't about me. It ain't about the fact that I don't have arms. What it's about is you got everything you need, just like me, just like my grandma Rogers told me, I'm gonna be your grandma Rogers today. Go get it. What's holding you back? And it's been said about bitterness. And it's been said that, you know, if, if, if bitterness is like drinking poison and expecting somebody else to get sick. My God, my God. You can't stay there. Let go of the bitterness. Let go of the things that you can't change. You know, if you can't change it, then do something what you, with what you can do. Move on that part. Don't you know, you know, the fact that I don't have arms without wings, 
But I made a conscious decision a long time ago to move forward and use what I had and, and know what I know. And that was that all things are possible to them that believe. Where my believers at? Are you with me on today? Yes. Are you with me on today? I'm telling you, because I've learned to believe in myself a long time ago. So I'm telling you today, I'm going to believe in your belief in you until your belief kicks in. My God, don't you know that's iron sharpening iron? Woo, woo. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just think about this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> There's never been a statue erected for complainers. No Hall of Fame for complainers. No books or almanacs written for complainers. If you want something in your life, then make some things happen in your life. And as you look at yourself, make it happen for you. It's up to you. It's time to take ownership of your life. I decided a long time ago to do it myself. I don't wait on other people. And if things aren't what you want, you know, then do it yourself, make it happen. I'm amazed at the people I see. <laughs> <laughs> they sit around and wait on others, looking for a handout, looking for a, a, a stimulus check and a free lunch. I'm just saying. <laughs> that woe is me syndrome. Those days are over today. It's a wrap. That stimulus that we just got, guess what? That might be your last. So I'm telling you, you better get up. Get yourself together. Do some things that you haven't done so that you can have some things that you have not had. That's how I've done it. That's how I made it. That's how I soar like an eagle without wings. Because I found out that the people that are making history, the people that are changing lives, the people that are uh, being honored, the people that are leaving legacies and making things happen are do-it-yourself people. When the world told me I couldn't get a job, Guess what I was crazy enough to do? I, I created my own job. Today, I am the CEO of Tawana Williams Outreach. My God, my God. That's who I am. I'm unarmed, but I'm dangerous. My God, my God. And you too can be unarmed, but dangerous. You don't need a gun. You don't need a weapon. Your gun is your mind. Your abilities, your knowledge your skills and your gifts. I'm telling you, you got this. You got this. So it's time to do something. Make it happen for yourself. So I challenge you right now to go back and get started again and finish your race. Don't you know that only the strong survive? I'm just saying you got power to do this. You can't stop. Quitting is not an option anymore. After being in my presence, I want you to go to my YouTube channel and see what I do. See what God have done and blessed me to be able to do without arms. It's my mind that pushes me. My heart to serve others, that's what pushes me. So I'm telling you today, quitting is not an option anymore. Go get your stuff back. Get your dreams off the shelf. Make a difference in your life. You got the power to get this done. Because I found that excuses don't hide. They just reveal who you really are. And my motto is and will always be excuses or results. You can't have both. So today, I want you to choose. If you're going to do it, then do it. If you ain't going to do it, then go sit on the sideline. Go sit on the bench somewhere. Because somebody, God's got somebody that's going to, to do the thing. All my life, I had to fight through. I had to fight through spirits of people telling me what I couldn't do, especially as a child. And like I said earlier, every time I saw somebody telling me what I couldn't do, the next time they saw me, I was doing what they said I could not do. What about you? When people tell you what you can't you what, what you can't do, do you believe that foolishness? Really? Seriously? You better get your stuff back. Cause I am the bomb.com. I ain't playing with it. I am an overcomer for life. I can rest when I'm in my grave. 
Right now, we got work to do, kingdom work to do. We got to keep it moving. That's how we move. That's how we've done it. That's how I've soared, soared like an eagle without wings. And I understand that it's hard right now, the turmoil that we're going through. Yeah, it's hard for all of us. But guess what? We got the right to move forward. We can do it. <clears throat> we can do this. We can make it happen. We can make it happen. Don't you know that tough times don't last, but tough people do? I heard my mentor Les Brown say that many years ago. I was like, wow, that's powerful. So it's time to get tough. Get your stuff together. Put your big drawers on, ladies. Woo -woo. I put mine on every day because I know something's coming. I'm just saying we got to put on our own personal armor every day. It's time to fight for what you want in spirit. And I've been fighting all my life. And now I'm challenging you to fight with me. Are you with me? Are y'all ready to do this? Y'all ready to do something you never done so that you can have something you never had? Are you ready to do it? Then let's do it. I'm gonna give you some tips real quick because I know it's time sensitive. So I wanna give you some tips, some information. So get your pen and paper ready. The first tip that I wanna help you to push you to your next level is to read something positive every day. Something that's gonna stimulate your mind. Reading is fundamental. Me and my husband, we created a, a, uh, a book ministry because we travel all over the country giving hope. You know, I've written seven books, but I go and we purchase uh, gently used books because we wanna give books to people. We want people to read. If you're not reading, you ain't learning. You're not growing. So read something positive to stimulate your mind every day. The next tip is to speak what you expect. Don't you know that words have power? Words have power to kill or build. So speak what you expect. Start speaking that thing. The next tip is practice self-love, self-control, and self-care. My God, that is some powerful word right there. It's time to do it. Practice what you want. Practice self-love, self-control, and self-care. The next tip is use self-affirmations daily. I do it every day. I am that I am. I stop by the mirror every day. Tawana Williams, you are the bomb.com. Because everything around me said you, 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 you're ugly, you're short, you're funny. It's weird not having arms. So I had to start uh, affirming myself. And I ain't got no problems with it today. My God, whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, this is a whoop, whoop moment. I'm just saying. Start using affirmations for you. This thing is personal. The next tip that I want to share is don't allow negative people into your life and in your ear. Let them go. Delete them right now. There's a delete button on my phone, on my computer, on my tablet, and I will hit that bad boy in a heartbeat with my toe. I ain't got no problems with it. You raggedy, delete. You're ne negative and toxic, delete. You're a gossiper, delete. They got to go. Don't allow negative people into your life. The next tip is get a mentor or a life coach. Find somebody doing what you want to do. Follow the leader. Shut your mouth. Pay attention. And, and the rest is going to be history for you too. That's what I did. In 2004, I found uh, Mrs. Mamie Brown's baby boy, Les Brown. I followed him. I listened to him. I learned from him. I took notes. Dr. Stan just said it. I was taking notes quicker than most people in the room. There's about 200 some people in the room. And I was the only one. And Les Brown was like, whoa, look right here. Look what we got right here. Somebody that's ready to do the thing. So I'm telling you, get you a mentor. Find somebody doing what you love to do. Follow the leader. Pay attention. Shut your mouth. Take notes. And it's going to be history for you too. Since 2004, I've been a Les Brown Platinum speaker. And I ain't got no problems with giving hope and doing what I do. The next tip is build your own confidence. Build your confidence. Like I told you, I stop by the mirror every day. I kiss myself. Mwah, 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 mwah. Tawana Williams, you are the bomb.com. <laughs> My grandson gave me that. He was like, Tawana, you are not. He said, Mama, you are not only 
uh, the bomb. You are the bomb.com. So I am the bomb.com. D A bomb.com. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the next tip is create positive habits. Create your own positive habits. If you don't know any, learn, learn from someone. Read about positive habits. Google is your best friend. We already know. The young lady talked about the, uh, the dictionary. We don't even know about the dictionary anymore. Google ought to be your best friend and you ought to be Googling how to create positive habits in your own personal life. I'm helping somebody right now because these are the things that I eat every day for the last 25 years. My husband, Toby, and I, we've been doing this since 1996 and we're not tired yet. We can rest when we're in our grave. Right now, we got kingdom work to do, and that's giving hope on for you, giving hope to you today. The next tip is in, in explore new things. You know, let's ex start exploring new things, things that we've never done so that we can have new things that we've never had. Amen? I'm helping somebody. And then the final tip is to get out of your feelings. My God, get out of your feelings and start trusting God. If you want it, trust them. If you say you want it, trust God. And Martin Luther King said, excuse me, Martin Luther King Jr. said, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. My God, my God. Challenges mm -hmm. came to make you strong. That's what happened to me. That's why I'm so tough. Because my challenges, all of the things that I went through, you heard it. The rape, the gang rape, born without arms. I'm a thalidomide baby. You know, I'm just saying we've got thousands of people, white, black, whatever nationality that were thalidomide babies. My mom, our moms took the drug thalidomide, not knowing it would deform the baby. But guess what? The devil brought me here. For, for evil, but God turned that thing around for good. My God, my God. So I'm telling you today, there's a gift in you. There's a blessing in you too. So I want you to get up, get yourself together, shake the dust off your feet, keep it moving in your life. Get your dreams off the shelf. There's a book in you too. There's a ministry in you too. You got this. You know what to do. And now I wanna give you some ways to balance your life. There are five ways that I've learned to balance my life and I'm bringing those to you right now. The first thing is to stop whining and complaining. Guess what, life is short and nobody cares. No more wimp, whine or complain. No more wimps, whiners or complainers. I put it that way. Just let it go. Stop whining and complaining. Nobody cares. People don't want to hear your foolishness. You know, if you ever been somewhere at Dr. Stan and, and you ask somebody, how you doing? And the first thing they do is start giving you a list of their, their stupid stuff. Really? <laughs> that small stuff? Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just saying, stop whining and complaining. The next tip to balance your life is to position yourself around positive people. I just talked about that. Position yourself around positive people. The third is to take responsibility and control of your life. Right now, you got the right. The fourth is to upgrade your relationships and your knowledge. And the fifth tip is to upgrade your determination. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to see yourself doing it. That's how I've accomplished all of the things that I've done, all of the things that I've been through, and all of the things that uh, God have, have brought me through. Is because I upgraded my determination. I saw myself doing it. Then guess what? It happened. It can happen for you too. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. So I'm telling you, yes, I beat the odds and so did you. And if you haven't, it's time to do it. Beat the odds. When people tell you they can't, that you can't do it, show them, prove them wrong. You do it. I'm just saying. It's a wrap today. I'm here. I'm here to serve. I'm here to coach you. I'm here to help you, here to encourage and inspire, to push you right into your greatness. That's why I showed up today. 
because I do know that showing up is half the battle. My God, you got to show up in order to do something. You got to show up. God will meet you right there when you show up. So I'm super excited. I'm excited about life and where I'm going and what God is doing in my life. Uh, Dr. Stan, uh, I am executive producing and co-producing my debut movie, my first movie. When I say first, that means some more is coming. So I'm just saying Eagle Without Wings. And it's based on my book, Unarmed But Dangerous. Um, the Tawana Williams story of relentless struggle and ultimate victory. And Les Brown did do the forward for that book. My God, it's a powerful tool. So I'm just saying, eaglewithoutwings.com is the, the, the movie um, website information. And my personal website is tawanawilliams.com. And my products are there exclusively and only at tawanawilliams.com. That's T-A-W-A-N-A williams.com. Check us out. We love you. God bless you. I pray that I've brought justice to, um, to your community on today. I pray that somebody's life um, was changed by the message of hope that I just shared. Wow. 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 Tawana, now I know why they say you the bomb.com. <laughs> yes. Wow, this is so powerful. And uh, we've got about 85 folks on here. So real quick, Bo, you got to share the story, though. You got to share that story about when Toby said you could draw. Yeah. I, you yeah. you, you got to share that real quick. And I'm putting your, by the way, folks, um, Definitely, definitely get, go to those websites, tawanawilliams.com, and then also Eagle Without Wings. So, uh, because again, my friend, uh, you want to make sure we are supporting her as a community, but as uh, her picture and, and so forth will be in the back office. Uh, and if you're watching this replay, you, that's where you see it now, obviously. But, uh, and so you can donate also as an individual because she has a 501c3. And so we want to bless our sister. So, but tell, tell that story because so many times we don't, there's things that others can see about us that we can't see. And we're living based on the, the limiting beliefs and God's trying to help somebody else to help us. And uh, sometimes though we push away, we push that away, but share that if you don't mind, I think it'll bless the people. I Absolutely. know. It. Absolutely, Dr. Stan. We, me, my husband, Toby and I, uh, we were living in Oakland, California in 1995. And on this day, I was having a pity party. And Toby was like, really T? He was like, look, he said, God told me to tell you that you can draw. I was like, you must be tripping because God ain't told me. He said, that's all right. He said, when I come home from work, have me a picture drawn. So I was like, yeah, whatever. So it came to be about 3.30. I was like, uh-oh, Toby will be home at 5 o'clock. So I got busy. I found pen and paper, and I just started drawing what was before me. I drew the um, entertainment center, um, the picture on the wall, the clock on the wall, the plant on the floor, the VCR. It blew my mind. So I'm telling you, there are some things in you that you don't know you can do. And somebody, sometimes you gotta just believe in somebody else's belief in you until your belief kicks in. You see, I had to believe in Toby's belief in me in order to go to that next level as an artist. I did not know that I could draw. My God, my God. But you better go to TawanaWilliams.com and see some. <laughs> Ah, it's gonna blow your mind. I'm telling you, it's, it's powerful. God God did it. Yes, could you see the screen? I think I pulled it up here. Uh, here's some of the artwork. Can you see that? Is that is that showing up on your side there, Tawana? Yes. Okay. Yes. So folks, again, she's got some powerful things that you wanna go to tawanawilliams.com and you wanna take advantage of this, uh, but again, uh, I, I mean, when you're in the presence of her presence and you purchase a book and then she uses her feet to sign her name and she signs her name better than most folks do with their hands. Are y'all hearing me up in here? And everybody on here, you definitely want to make sure you get all her information, but especially that book of hope. Now, you know, you wow. know, if you're the hope community, you got to have the book of hope written by the hope coach herself. But all these powerful tools, my friend, and oh, there it is right there. Oh, 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 oh. So, yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, 
Well, she's in, in your presence. And uh, again, you go to this website and you see her, you know, act, uh, changing a, a doll baby, the diaper, like what she would do with, with her baby. That was a real live breathing, screaming, kicking. I almost said it like you said it to her. Yes, yes, it's all good. Do it. You're doing it. <laughs> and, uh, and so anyway, and so her and Toby just incredible, incredible, credible. So there's so much there. And then again, uh, the, the website Eagle Without Wings, Eagle Without Wings, yes, folks, I'm telling you, it's powerful. She'll be leaving out actually tomorrow, uh, going to the Atlanta area uh, to do some things there with this, this movie. Uh, Eagle Without Wings, and we want you to be part, if you want to take part, my friend, and be able to bless. Again, I put these websites in the chat. Again, if you're watching this, then you just have to go there, and that is TawandaWilliams.com, and then EagleWithoutWings.com, and my friend, it's going to blow your mind, and it's going to change your life. Yes. Uh, God did it. God is doing yes. great things. There you go. Look at her with all these folk. Uh huh. <laughs> you ain't got the one to hear you and I and Creflo. What's up? Right, What's that's up? right. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say? The one of you and I were in, and Dr. Creflo. Remember? Okay, I'm gonna tell her to put that put that in there. My I, my I, web I, design. I'm gonna put that one in there. Yeah, because we got a picture with us. Yes, absolutely. We gotta put that in there. So, uh, Tawana, again, incredible, incredible. I speak for everyone. This is impactful, empowering. And then just one more story uh, when, 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 when you want to start your business. Because we got folks here, they, they, they just don't understand Tawana. So they just think, okay, um, you know, people to start a business, you know, it's pretty easy. They don't understand. So. You wanted to start a business. How, you said you're CEO. You, you could have got a check, but you created your own check. But tell them the little bit of the details here about how you started your business. Well, back to Toby again. My husband is so powerful. He's a force in my life that ain't, that ain't playing with me. And so, you know, in 1996, Toby said, T, one day I was having, I was sad again. Toby was like, T, you know, he said, God didn't, born you this way for us, our family? He said, you were born this way to let the world see how most of us live defeated lives when, when they don't have to. He mm. said, you, you, you give so much with so little. I was like, wow, I thought I had to think about that for a moment. And so to, what we did was Toby bought me a computer. He bought me some business cards. We talked to God, we prayed. And I got busy. I started calling strangers to open doors for me, Dr. Stan. I started text, excuse me, emailing 50 to 60 people a day with my toes. I type about 20, 25 per words of, per minute right now. I used to type about 40, but now it's, it's a little slower because I'm older. But guess what? I'm still typing. I'm still texting. I'm doing the thing. I'm just saying, what is it? that you're supposed to do with your life and you've been complaining and whimping and whining about, really, seriously? I'm just saying, I did this thing. And so in um, 1996, I just got started where I was in the middle of my pity party. I was like, whoa, get something done, Tawana. And I did it and it worked. The first person that I called, the pastor said, yes, come, you will be a blessing. And I bless them and they bless me. I wasn't asking for money at that time. You know, nine and a half of those 25 years, Dr. Stan, we've been doing this for free. Mm. You know, but when I met Les in 2004, he was like, uh-uh, ain't no more free here, ain't no more free lunch. Go get this thing. So I started making my own paper, my own checks. I write my own paychecks if I want to. So in 2002, I established and founded Tawana Williams Outreach Inc., a 501c3 um, nonprofit organization, um, and it's based in Wilson, North Carolina, and I'm just a traveling hope coach, a mobile wow. hope coach. That's what we do. And um, last year, of course, in 2020, um, everything shut down because of COVID, um, but we're back on our game, back on our grind, doing what we're supposed to do, and that's giving hope. And in the middle of uh, 2020, in the early parts of 2020, I just learned how to figure out the, the virtual uh, aspects of of speaking, you know, cause I was stuck. Like I said, I was stuck too. Cause that's all we did was travel 20, 25 times a month. 
we were on the road hard, you know? And so when, when COVID hit, I was stuck too. But I was like, uh-uh, I can't get stuck. I'm the whole coach. So I'm telling you, you can't get stuck. Get up. Get your dreams off the shelf. Go get something done in your life. Make it happen for yourself. Be a part of this community and do what you're supposed to do. Because like I said, iron sharpens iron. If you bad, then hang, hang around people that's better than you. And you're going to get some, some, some good stuff. I'm just saying. Woo-hoo! Wow, 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 wow. The people are blessed and we thank you, thank you, thank you. Powerful, powerful presentation.